Hey everyone, welcome back to some new update. Today, we've got some news about the legendary Falcon 9 first stage, B-10058 Boster destroyed, and Chinese rocket booster falls from space, crashes near house, and JAXA's second H-3 flight is set for no earlier than mid-February, after the debut launch failed in March 2023. Alright folks, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our space updates. Now, let's get into it. So, you know B-2058, right? The first U.S. commercial rocket that carried astronauts into orbit. SpaceX's baby. Well, it recently faced some tough luck during its 19th flight. As it was making its way back to shore, things took a turn for the worse. High winds and waves caused the booster to tip over. Ouch. SpaceX broke the news on Twitter, or as they call it now, X. The company reported that the booster couldn't handle the rough conditions. And down it went. Just a couple of days before this, B-1058 was the hero of the day, launching 23 Starlink satellites and then gracefully landing on the drone ship Just Read the Instructions in the Atlantic. But alas, fate had other plans. Now, if you've seen the pictures online, you'll notice only the lower part of B-1058 is left. Three out of four landing legs are still out, and all nine engines are intact. SpaceX's VP, John Edwards, reassured fans that they're salvaging what they can and doing inspections because, hey, there's still value in that booster. What made B-1058 even more special was its history. Remember Demo 2 in 2020? It was B-1058 that lifted off for the first time, carrying NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. This marked a huge moment, the first time American astronauts launched from the U.S. since 2011. Since then, B-1058 has been a workhorse. It played a role in SpaceX's cargo deliveries, satellite launches, and a bunch of Starlink missions, 860 satellites totaling over 260 metric tons in just 3.5 years. Impressive, right? Now, the SpaceX team is taking this setback in stride. They've learned that b 58 didn't have the fancy self-leveling legs that some other boosters have, and that, combined with its age, led to its unfortunate fate. But, as Kiko Donchev, SpaceX's VP of launch, said, they're turning lemons into lemonade and learning as much as they can from this experience. So, what does this mean for SpaceX? Well, they still have 16 active Falcon 9 first stages and three waiting to make their debut. The show must go on, right? It's always a bit sad when a space pioneer like B-1258 says its goodbyes. Fans were hoping it would end up in a museum, but sometimes, space has different plans. What are your thoughts on this? Drop them in the comments below. Chinese rocket debris falls near homes after satellite launch. China recently launched two satellites into space as part of its Beidou navigation satellite system, similar to North America's GPS. The launch took place from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in Sichuan Province, but it didn't go entirely as planned. While the satellites safely reached their intended orbit, parts of the Long March 3B rocket, known as side boosters, fell back to Earth and landed in the Guangxi region of South China. Videos shared on social media by space journalist Andrew Jones captured the fiery descent of one booster in a forested area, while reports suggested the wreckage of another booster landed near a house. The video footage showed an explosion, and there were signs of reddish-brown gas and yellowish gas, indicating the presence of nitrogen tetroxide and unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine UDMH, fuel. Both substances pose serious health risks. This incident is not the first time rocket boosters linked to Beidou satellite launches have fell in near-populated Aries. In 2019, a similar incident resulted in a booster destroying a home after launch. China has faced criticism for allowing its Long March 5 rocket to naturally fall back to Earth after heavy launch system launches, contributing to space debris. Unlike coastal launch sites, China's inland launch sites increase the likelihood of rocket debris landing near inhabited areas. To mitigate risks, public notices and evacuations are issued before rocket launches. The 57th and 58th Beidou satellites, recently launched, serve as backups, reducing operational risks for the Beidou 3 system. This system comprises satellites in different orbits, ensuring a continuous and stable signal for China's global navigation systems. Japan's H-3 rocket, ready for second launch in February 2024 after initial setback. Japan's space agency, JAXA, is gearing up for the second launch of its H-3 rocket in February 2024, following a challenging debut in March 2023. 
the H-3 rocket is set to take off from the Tanegashima Space Center, with the launch window opening on February 14, 2024. The primary launch time frame is between 7.22 p.m. and 11.06 p.m. EST on February 14, with backup launch opportunities available from February 15 to the end of March. This comes a year after the first H-3 flight faced difficulties on March 7, 2023, resulting in an explosive failure. The upcoming launch will carry a demonstration module called the Vehicle Evaluation Payload 4, accompanied by two small satellites known as CESAT IE and TIRSAT. The H-3 rocket, standing at either 187 feet or 207 feet, 57 or 63 mm, depending on its launch configuration, has the capacity to transport over 4 tons of payload to a 310-mile, 500-kilometer, sun-synchronous orbit, ensuring consistent lighting conditions beneath the spacecraft. Additionally, the rocket can transport more than 6.5 tons to a geostationary transfer orbit, allowing satellites to achieve a geosynchronous orbit over Earth's equator, providing a steady view of a specific area on Earth's surface. During the first flight attempt in March, the H-3 rocket faced challenges around seven minutes into the flight, resulting in the decision to issue a self-destruct command. Unfortunately, this led to the loss of the Advanced Land Observing Satellite 3, ALOS-3, also known as Daichi-3. Despite successful liftoff and stage separation, concerns arose when the rocket's velocity dropped and operators couldn't confirm second stage ignition, prompting the self-destruct command. A month before this incident, JAXA canceled a liftoff of the same H-3 rocket due to a faulty power supply. Details regarding the cause of the initial failure have not been fully disclosed by JAXA or Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, MHI. Iwao Igarashi, MHI Vice President and General Manager, mentioned in a September 2023 press conference that an investigation had taken place but did not provide specific details. The repercussions of the failed launch extended to another Japanese rocket, the H-2A, which shares a similar second stage. This connection resulted in the delay of H-2A's next launch from May to September 2023 during the investigation. Fortunately, the H-2A's launch on September 6 proceeded smoothly, carrying the smart lander for investigating Moon, SLIM spacecraft, and the X-ray Imaging and Spectroscopy Mission, XRISM, telescope into space. XRISM is currently operational in orbit around Earth, while SLIM is on track to reach the Moon's surface on January 19th.